Jupiter Ascendant. <laughs> Alright, so this movie is a couple of years old, and um, I, I kind of love it. Like, I love that it exists. It's like this precious little jewel of a movie. It has plot holes, yeah, it doesn't really make that much sense, but I love it anyway. Like, why? This movie ought to get a sequel. Like, I'm just. I don't care. It, I know it probably made like five cents in the in the box office, but whatever. It, it's this beautiful movie, and the, the universe that it's set in is like ridiculous but interesting. Um. And. Uh, I don't know. I just. I feel like there's more story to tell there. I, I want to know what Jupiter does next, you know, while she's trying to figure, once she's figured out what it means to be queen of space, queen of the bees. <laughs> she owns Earth now. <laughs> I, this movie is ridiculous and I, I love it. Um, like honestly, it's, it's silly, but it's beautiful and like, there's really nothing about it that I would really complain about it, you know? Um, I love that Channing Tatum is like a space werewolf and has wings at the end and, like, she falls in love with him. <laughs> it's so dumb. Um, but I love it. Like, the whole aesthetic of this movie, that's like part, the main reason I watched it in the first place, the first time I watched it which is, I don't know, last year sometime, probably. And, um, cause I, I guess I'd seen screen caps or something and I was like, wow, this movie's really pretty. And the thing is that I've heard that it's really, also heard it's quite a bad movie. It's not that bad. It's like, it's not like, there's nothing going on here that's horrifically offensive, really, as far as I can tell. Um, and it's, it's silly and there's some stuff that doesn't really make sense, like I said. But, I mean, personally, if I have to watch a movie that is the science fiction kind of... It, it comes across very much as the sort of story that, like, a teenage girl would write. I mean, I've heard people say this before. And... It could have done, I think, with a little more editing as far as the story goes, but, like, the acting is fine. I mean, some of it's weird because I don't know what Eddie Redmayne is doing, but <laughs> whatever. And like the 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 movie itself is gorgeous. So you know, just a, just a little tighter in writing, and it, this could have been great. Um, but frankly, like if if I have to choose between movie that is kind of like the fantasy of a young teenage girl versus the fantasy of uh, such a large age range of men. I would much rather have this because <laughs> I just science fiction is such uh there's too many dudes writing all of it making it all up, making it all about them and it's tiring. Which is obviously not to say that all science fiction by men is bad, because, like, have you met me? That's most of, like, most of what I love can be described that way, but it's sort of a minefield sometimes. Like, you're like, oh god, why is this happening? Um, anyway, but this movie is, is delightful. Like, I, I just wanted to have a sequel. Like, why does this movie not have a sequel? Like, Paul Blart Mall Cop got a goddamn sequel. And this doesn't. I mean, I know it's only been two years, but still, it's like, come on. I want more in this batshit universe. It's like, very cool looking, and I want to know, what powers do you get if you're part B? The fuck is that? Where do they get all these, like, gargoyle dinosaur people? Like, are they some other species entirely? Because they don't look human spliced and... I mean, there's stuff that doesn't make sense. Like, they're all like, oh, Jupiter, you're 
the exact genetic duplicate of our mother who is dead. And if I'm willing to buy that, like, fine, but then they're also talking about how everyone on Earth is... I think they say that everyone on Earth is spliced with, like, the native um, apes. And it's like, well, if that's the case, then how the hell is she the same genetically as this lady who was presumably not spliced with anything ever. I don't know, it's just kind of like weird. But oh man, this movie is ridiculous. Um, I love, I kind of love Jupiter. Like I don't think she's extremely compelling, but I, I, I like that she gets the hidden princess narrative, like that's always fun. And um, I don't know, it's just such a lovely little fantasy that she's ha she has kind of this difficult life and oh, it turns out she's actually a space princess and also the bees are somehow able to tell. <laughs> They're like, oh, she's royalty. Like, bees can tell if you're royalty, apparently. Like, this is something we learned in this movie. <laughs> I'm still not over the fact that Sean Bean is in this as like a were bee. <laughs> what the fuck? Um, delightful. But, but yeah, like, I, I kind of love this movie. I love all the choices that this movie makes that are purely for the aesthetic. Like, there's that whole scene where uh, Eddie Redmayne's ship is coming up to Jupiter to, like, dock with the refinery and stuff that's under the, under the gaseous surface. And he's in a swimming pool and is, like, he's, like, naked in a swimming pool that has glass all around it so that... He's pra he almost looks like he's just like floating above the surface of the planet, and the the way that the the orange kind of reflected light from Jupiter is is hitting him and everything is just like it looks so cool. It's so ridiculous. Why is he doing this? Who the fuck cares? It looks awesome. Um, I also absolutely love the part where they're going through the whole bureaucratic process of like getting her officially. Um, instated, I guess, as this reincarnation so that she can have the the will um, can actually apply to her and Earth will be hers. But that whole sequence is really funny. <laughs> but yeah, I mean, this is not a bad movie. It, it's got some pretty, it's, it's got some plot holes. But other than that, I mean, like, it's, it's fun. Right? Like, it's fun. And I could totally see how somebody could be really into it. Like, I'm not really. If this as a fictional universe doesn't, you know, really grab me in the same way other fictional universes have. But I could totally see how it could someone else. So anyway, in conclusion, I think Jupiter Ascending should have a sequel. And, um... You know, Hollywood, so like, if you're considering, oh, let's make another sequel of a useless movie no one liked, instead, why don't you make a sequel of this? Because this is, like, pretty and kind of fun. <laughs> okay? Yeah, let's do that.